Hello beautiful people, happy Saturday and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do kind of like a high school tip slash dear younger me video where I talk about things that I wish I would have done in high school and things that I did do in high school that I am really glad that I did do. If you don't know me, my name is Elon. I am a senior in high school and I have been involved in artsy things like theater and choir, been involved in some sports, I've been involved in honor societies and clubs and I had a really awesome high school experience. I had a lot of fun. But there's also some things that I wish I would have done that I didn't do so I'm going to share that with you guys. The first one is something that I feel like I did pretty well but I would love to do even more is to be present and to love people. I am one of those people that will spend their lunches and their brunches studying in classrooms with teachers, like just always working on something. I, I hardly like just talked to people sometimes. Like there'll be days where I'll just work every second of the day because I had a goal in mind and had to reach it. <laughs> And so I, I would say be present and to love people even more, you know? Um, I was involved in so many things and I am involved in so many things, but more than just being involved, more than just showing up, be present, be all there, connect with the people that are around you and enjoy their company because it's not, they're not gonna be here forever. Enjoy people's company more, be present and be loving. The next thing is don't worry about what other people think about you. I struggled with this a lot my freshman year, my sophomore year. Crazy story, okay? So I used to be so like insanely embarrassed about my backpack size. I'm not joking. Like the size of my backpack. I was like, my backpack is too big. There's so much stuff in it. I'm so embarrassed. Oh my gosh, like I was legit, like legit highly insecure about the size of my backpack. <laughs> I was so insecure about the dumbest things. What the heck? Until I realized my worth and my value is not in the size of my backpack. <laughs> or, or in the grades I get, or the friends I have, or the popularity status, or anything like that. How many followers you have on social media like your identity and your value and your worth isn't and really shouldn't be in those things because that's all going to pass away that's not a secure foundation your worth and value has to be so much deeper than that in a secure foundation my worth and value as a disciple as a christian comes from god and who he created me to be and so once i realized that i was like it doesn't matter what I look like, or if I wear makeup, or the size of my backpack, I'm loved, and we're all good. Don't people please or settle. Know your worth, know your value. You don't, there's a difference between being kind and being compassionate and people pleasing. You can be kind and still have different opinions. You can be kind and still say no. If you have standards and you have boundaries and you have values, stick to them. Don't let anyone make you do something you're uncomfortable doing. Be kinder to yourself. I was I put so much pressure on myself. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. Don't be so serious all the time. Be kinder to yourself. Think positive thoughts about yourself. Don't submit to the negative thinking like I suck, I'm the worst, oh my gosh, I hate myself. Be positive. Be kinder to yourself. And take chances. Take risks. Don't be afraid to do the things you want to do. Okay. I hope this helps. And I'll catch you guys next Saturday. Bye. Light in the dark, you're the answer. Light in the dark, you're the answer. Light in the dark. Okay, 
so I try to focus it. So let's get pretty. Look at us being all productive with our YouTube channel. Yes, look at us with the consistency. Yes. Okay, because because I have a lot of stuff in my backpack because I'm freaking it. Got him. Nice. I don't know. I can't have. I don't have a comeback for that.